What's up, YouTube? It's your boy HD back with another video for y'all. And today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of barber school. I've been in barber school about two and a half, two months now. So I kind of got a good feel as of, OK, I like this. I don't like this. I think this should be done. I don't think this is. Oh, this is good. You know what I'm saying? So pros and cons. We don't get into it with this video. I wanted to kind of give y'all an inside scoop. So I took some inside videos inside the barber school you feel me some videos inside and um yeah i'm gonna combine it with this i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet so let's get into it man Step on him. about to get cut man my boy brad about to go crazy for me man stay tuned then <laughs> yeah you see what it is before oh! looking crunchy we gonna he needs it. some milk <laughs> good now clean yeah <laughs> shout out to my boy brad yeah look at the taper Some positives. I do have my cheat sheet, by the way, because I, oftentimes I do videos and I'm like, damn, I forgot to say that or fuck, you know what I'm saying? So this time we're not leaving nothing out. You feel me? Positives. You get your license. So I know a lot of places you can't work in barbershops without your license. People do it anyway, but that's a positive. You get your license. Um, you get to practice on different hair types. It's always good to practice on different hair types because you never know what might land in your chair. You don't want to be that guy that only can do like crazy fades, but can't do comb overs and shit like that. You want to be a jack of all trades. I'm not saying you got to be the best at everything, but just know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? So whatever your weakness is, practice on that in barber school because that's what it's for to practice. You feel me? Um, so that's the positive. You get to practice on different hair types. Number three, you get to learn from other barbers. Some barbers been doing this for a while and they just came to get their license. Some barbers are new barbers and they don't know what they're doing at all. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you can learn from both of them, from people that don't know what they're doing. Like, ah, okay, I would I wouldn't have done that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody that's been here, you can actually ask them questions like, pick their brain you know what i'm saying get better that way He matched the shoes, but it was a pink. You know I have Asian hair. It laid out, and it's, it's just a taper. And your shit already formed. Right. Another positive, you get to network with shop owners or school owners. You know what I'm saying? For instance, the school owner here, she has a lot of good business. She's very business savvy. You know what I'm saying? I could ask her a lot of questions about business and she'll steer me in the right direction. She knows people who are selling shops. She knows people that have had shops and lost shops. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can learn so much from that. And then oftentimes shop owners come in and recruit in the barber school. So you can, you know what I'm saying? You get to pick their brains or get in their shop sometimes. So that's another positive. Learn how to do other services other than just cutting. So like facial shaves, perms, how to properly shampoo and condition and which types of shampoos to use for different hair types. That's another positive. The last positive, you mess somebody's haircut up and it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> That's not funny, but I haven't really fucked nobody up because I was cutting hair before this. So, but you can fuck somebody up and it's not going to be that big of a deal. Some people will come in like, oh, it's just hair. It'll grow back. You know what I'm saying? Versus if you're in a shop 
and you fuck somebody's hair up, it's more, that's like your reputation. That's the shop owner's reputation. Barber school is good for practice. You know what I'm saying? Although some customers come in and they don't understand that they're in a barber school. The mentality of certain people, it's like you order from the dollar menu on McDonald's, but you still want it perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they forgot pickles on it. They don't spin the block. You know what I'm saying? But you paid a dollar for the burger. You feel me? But I don't know. I feel them and I don't feel them sometimes. It's like, ah, bro, you in a barber school, you can't be that mad. You know what I'm saying? But Yeah, introduce yourself. I'm Tyler. Where they can follow you? Very at? relevant. Uh, See I the got, cuts. I Just, got. Uh, I ain't really been posting no cut shit. Okay. I got Facebook though. Tyler Bohr. Okay. But it's not my profile picture. So if you go in there looking for me, you not, might not see me. Okay. But uh, first question. Yeah. What are the positives and the negatives of barber school? Uh, the negatives right away is a lot of waste of time. Okay. I think barber school should be about the number of heads you cut, not the number of hours. Facts. Because then we'd be done way quicker because most of your 1,500 hours, I, I would say literally a 1,000 of your hours is sitting here. And 500 be while you actually cut it. Mm. Uh, Give me some uh, positives. The positives is you learn how to cut. <laughs> yeah. But you the, the right way, though. So, you know, it's a lot of barbers out there, and y'all know who y'all is. They don't know <laughs> nothing about sanitation. They don't know proper technique, and that's why these people be having bumps and all that. You go to a barber, you look at his station, and it's dirty. Don't go to him. Facts. Don't. But school just, school just teach you the do's and don'ts of... You know, be in a barbershop, and I think it gives you technical application. Yeah. When you just hood cutting, you only know how to do certain type of hair. When you cut a barber school, you learn all type of hair. Oh, hold on, hold on. You gonna have to cut this on the next. Okay, I'm cut it. You have to cut this. So anytime I wanna be sick. Oh, GDM. HDTV. I got my man's on here. Introduce yourself. My name is Trey. Or Smiley. Smiley. Either one. Either one. You know. I'll go by Trey Cuts. You don't know me as. You don't hear about me. Got my man's over there eating a the cinnamon roll, devouring it. Going crazy. Tearing it. Uh, <laughs> big fella playing. Fuck you, up. The big fella got to consume some food to be a big fella now. All right. I got a question for you. Positives, negatives of barber school. Pros and cons. Give me a few. Or one or two, it don't matter. Just... I mean, a pro, I would say okay. I'll start with the positives. It's a good atmosphere. So right. much cool people you meet. Okay. Like, I wouldn't expect to meet half these people every day. Like, there are so much cool people in here. Yeah. But and then the cons of barber school, I'd say, it's a lot of, like, waste of time. A lot of sitting down. A lot of, a lot of waiting. Yeah. Because there could be days I could just wait for two, three hours. Nothing. I'd watch videos, yes. but I wouldn't like do nothing with my hands. I have a lot of just 
I agree with that. that's the McDonald's cinnamon. Let's get back to over here, though. Let's look at this man. The power. This is in my. Take that bike. Is that the middle? That look like the middle. <laughs> What's to y'all, though? Like, what's going on? Y'all had a whole interview. Y'all worried about me. First and foremost, I don't understand why y'all switched the camera to me. <laughs> this interview ain't about Deontay. This ain't about me. A pro, um, I was cutting six years before this, and I finally learned how to use some shears. So, that's, that's dope. Yeah, so you learn some new techniques here, you know, you get people's brain. Yeah. A con, this is a fucking nine to five and you ain't getting paid for it. Oh my God. That's exactly and she what say, it is. And she said we get tips, but a dollar ain't going a long way, man. Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's not working for me. It's not cutting out. Uh, and then we got to pay for gas and gas went up. Fuck you too, Biden. Shout out to my female members out there. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I started this trend. Hey. You ain't gotta be a stud. You ain't gotta like girls. You could even be ugly, guy. <laughs> Just be yourself and don't be afraid to be who you wanna be because of the statistic or because of the trend or something. Yeah. It's no different than driving a semi truck, it's no different than shoveling shit. Be you, be positive, go for it, dream big, play hard. Work a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> but do what you love. Yeah, I love this school. Love the atmosphere. I feel there should be more women barbers. I agree. It's a great thing to go to school to mm -hmm. do anything you believe in that you, you could you feel that you'd be good at. It's also a plus positive to be a professional in anything, meaning you get professional experience because there is certain specific ways that people are supposed to correctly care for your hair, care mm -hmm. for your skin. There's It's more to just cutting hair. It's more to just getting the fade. It's more to just having a rapport with your barber, even though those are additions to everything. But you also want to make sure that someone actually ha is knowledgeable about skin, hair, and the products that they use on your hair because everybody is allergic to a lot of different things. A lot of people have a lot of things underlying that they don't necessarily tell you before you sit in the chair before they sit in your chair yeah. so i would suggest that would be my pro a con is uh-oh uh-oh i feel if you are like me a hands-on bubbly all over the place woman of one to how many are here one to nine ratio <laughs> trying to learn something um you need to be able to be self what is it called a self-starter self-learner that is so not me i need help all the time one thing about me though i'm not afraid to ask that's the only reason i feel like i've come this far but i feel like it is a hindering to someone who's not like an introvert so i would suggest like if you do choose a school i love molars to death i love miss terry with her weird ass ways love her to death and please put this on the video <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> and he's not complaining again. He's interrupting. He wanted yeah. to snip it. You were what? Back to the camera. He's not behind the music. He's jealous. Yeah, Marcus, you see what I'm talking about? Nah, I, I pros and it. cons. That's another con too. Going to school with your granddad, who really <laughs> younger than you. He got the Benjamin button though, but it's cool. Oh, Glad man. to meet you too. That's Juju, y'all. Get into these negatives. Canvases, oh my God, the canvases that come into this barber school. It's mainly all old people, people with receding hairlines, no hairlines, cold de sacs. Like, okay, next negative. <laughs> um, we got 30 people in our class right now, which is kind of high. I believe my instructor said that that's the highest she's ever had. So we're not getting really too many reps right now. I'll probably get like one haircut a day. It's been days where I don't get any haircuts, you know what I'm saying? Versus classes before me, they say they've gotten like five haircuts a day, six haircuts a day. I'm getting like one or two. Good days, I'll probably get three haircuts, but for the most part, it's like one haircut a day. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I, I don't know. That's, that's a negative for me. Work can be tedious at times. I know everybody that went to barber school could feel me on that. Like, work can definitely be tedious with those workbooks and all of the fucking. It's like half of the shit you already know. Some of the shit you're like, what do I? Why do I need to know this? When will I ever use this? Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, just stick in there, though, man. <laughs> you can get sucked into uh, things other than the main goal if you're not focused. 
just that just goes in with life like you just got to stay focused man don't like steer away from the main goal at hand just stay focused um don't let nobody steer you off your path just stay humble and don't come into barber school beating your chest like oh i can uh, like you cut the best or anything just stay humble and you know just remain focused on the goal at hand conclusion stay hungry be a sponge ask hella questions you can never ask too many questions that's where you will learn like learn from asking questions so a wise man once said anything you're involved in if you don't know everything about it you're doing it the wrong way so never be scared to ask questions also say take pictures of every haircut because um if you fuck up you can figure out what went wrong in the haircut you know what i'm saying and also if, even if you do a good haircut take a picture of it and it's like you'll look at it a few days later like hold on now i see some flaws in it maybe i could have fixed this maybe i could have done I mean, you will never do a perfect haircut there's no such thing so it's always things you can learn from pictures in my opinion don't watch too many different haircut methods on youtube starting out because that will confuse you if you're new you know what i'm saying so find a method that works for you master that then later on go working on different stuff but don't go watching too many videos this here this there this there all ball fade videos and everybody's doing it different now you're confused you know what i'm saying so figure out a method that works for you that's efficient and quick for you and easy to learn and once you master that the next one that you go attack will make more sense to you you know what i'm saying so um don't watch too many youtube videos in my opinion barber school is a dope experience that prepares you for the barber world um it's a nice barber shop vibe man i just love this shit man i'm excited to see what's in store for me ahead i wish i would have came straight out of high school but you know it's okay because sometimes you gotta go through things to understand like okay maybe i was supposed to be doing this with my life you know what i'm saying and also like barbering is more lucrative now than ever so it's always a good time to go to barber school man if you're thinking about it do it you know what i'm saying your boy hd is telling you do it if you're thinking about it do it might do more barber school videos man we'll see what's going on but in the comments let me know what you thought about this video if you got any questions about barber school um, actually i want y'all to tell me what video i should do next y'all want to see a self-cut video a cut that i do in barber school my hair growth journey like anything let me know down below in the comments what you want me to do next it's your boy hd i tried to cut the time down let me stop talking let me get out of here uh.